All of us think that only rabies infected dog can transmit the infection to human, which is partially correct, because majority of human rabies infections are from dogs but along with dog, cats, cattle, bats, raccoons, skunks and foxes are also responsible for endemic rabies infections. If we observe surveillance data from 2012, out of identified 6,162 confirmed animal rabies cases in the United States, only 8% of domestic animals that is 257 cases in cats, 84 in dogs, 115 in cattle is recorded. Rest all are seen in wildlife reservoirs. To begin with, bats rabies is seen in every states except Hawaii. Raccoon rabies is endemic along the entire eastern coast of the United States. Skunks rabies is present in Midwestern states, with another focus in California. Rabies in foxes occurs in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona and Alaska. Dear travelers, take note of such places in whichever countries you visit and take precautions before you visit. Observe the animals closely, and if you find anything abnormal and if it bites you and escapes, you should be capable enough to tell your doctor about the incident. I just happened to go to Google to know about visible symptoms of rabies in different animals. It says that in dogs there is difficulty in swallowing, excessive drooling, walk like a drunkard, sensitive to light, sound, etc. Cats are aggressive, can't swallow food, and drooling is seen. In cattle's altered voice, difficult to swallow and lack of appetite is seen. Then, in bats we can't really recognize but they might look sick, daytime flight or is unable to fly. Raccoons look confused with foams at the mouth. Skunks are active in the daytime, aggressive, vocalizing is seen. Foxes stagger as if drunk, aggressive and vocalization is seen. Human to human transmission is rare to find. Most commonly rabies infected animal infects human through bites. When a rabid animal bites, virus replicates in muscle. These viruses binds to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors at neuromuscular junction, then travels through axons and reach motor neurons in spinal cord and local dorsal root ganglia and rapid ascent to brain there it infects brain neurons. Then it spreads to salivary glands, skin, cornea and other organs. Rabies virus multiplies in acinar cells of salivary glands and is secreted in saliva of rabid animals. Now let's see how rabies express itself in human beings. Number one there will be history of bite from infected animal. Then, during initial days there will be fever, weakness, headache nausea, vomiting. Also there will be pain near the site of injury. Then 80% of people go to encephalitic rabies, where they will present with fever, confusion, increased salivation. Hydrophobia that is fear of water. When they drink water there will be painful contraction of respiratory, laryngeal and pharyngeal muscles. Aerophobia which is stimulated by a draft of air. 20% people go to paralytic rabies. They present with muscle weakness which begins from site of injury then spread to face and other sites. Patients with paralytic rabies survive longer than encephalitic rabies. Antibodies are found during later stage of rabies in serum. RT-PCR that is reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction reveals positive result. Till now there is only 7 well-documented cases of survival from rabies exists. Out of which one was vaccinated before disease onset and one had antibodies in his serum against rabies virus. Most patients die within several days of onset of illness, despite of treatment. You can prevent infection by following post-exposure prophylaxis. Clean your wound thoroughly. It includes vaccine and rabies immune globulin. Rabies immune globulin is infiltered intramuscularly. And vaccine includes five doses. First dose immediately after bite. Three additional doses on days 3, 7, and 14 then fifth dose on day 28. One more thing. Rabies immune globulin is not given for previously vaccinated persons. So inform your doctor whether you have been vaccinated or not. In addition to that vaccine your pet animals like dog, cat or anything. As those animals have the high tendency to develop rabies. Hope this information is useful for you. If it is, then for more informational videos please subscribe and press the bell icon, so that I can reach you every time I upload new videos. Thank you. See you in next video.